Hi right, everyone, welcome back to the MCM Outdoor Show and welcome back to another video looking at some of the rucksacks in my collection. Like I said, every single day I'm off work, I'll get another pack down and talk you through them. And this particular one is by Fjall Raven and it is an Abisco Hike 35, which as the name suggests is a 35 litre rucksack. This one, I've used it while camping uh, at Stickle Tarn and on Red Screes and I'll leave a card just above there so you can check out the pack in action. It fitted a Van Gogh Helium 100 super light tent in with ease and all the rest of the gear, no problem. So it's a really good pack, it's really well made, it's feature rich, it's made with Fjall Raven's G1000 Eco material and then on the high wear points, namely the base of the pack, it's got Fjall Raven's G1000 Heavy Duty which is a lot more durable and will withstand the abrasion as you're putting your pack down onto the ground. So, starting at the top of the pack and don't worry, as always, I'll zoom in for some uh, additional detail when I finish talking about it. But starting at the top of the pack, we've got a zippered pocket and it comes with a rain cover, which you would expect and hope with a pack at this price point. Well made zips, all by YKK, so there's going to be no problems with quality and durability of these zippers. On the top of the pack, we've got these gear loops, again, which we can use to attach various items or webbing, just to attach, you know, garments, jackets, etc. if you so wish to the top of the pack. The lid on this pack is uh, floating. There's two straps at the back, so you can raise or lower that and overpack it. Um, the website itself will also suggests that you can use it to store, you know, for example, a sleeping mat underneath the lid of the pack and use the lid to secure that down. But it's nice to know that you've got that versatility depending on whether you want to pack some more items. Looking at the closure on the front, it's two buckles. If we just undo those, um, we've got the Fjall Raven logo on the front in the leather. Look on the underside of the lid. Excuse the pink cushion in there for the benefit of this review. We've got a zipper closure on the underside of the lid for storing valuables. It's really well made, like Fjall Raven's gear, really well put together. In terms of the top, we've got this load lock secured by a buckle. And then similar to some other packs, we've got a big generous snow valance that can be operated and closed with gloved hands with ease. Just cinch that back up. we move down the pack, we've got this large, full length, zippered pocket. Um, that is very, very roomy and you get a lot more volume in there. Uh, there's a nice zip garage at the top of it and um, yeah, that fits a couple of bottles of wine in and quite a few craft beers with ease. Um, you can put jackets, maps, um, you know, items that you want to have, you know, readily accessible in the front of that pocket. Moving down the side of the pack. We've got compression straps at the top and toward the base. And just on this side here, you might just be able to see, and I'll show you it in a lot more detail, we've got a full length zipper, which gives you instant access to the contents of your pack, which is useful if you've got things in the middle and packed toward the base, uh, whereby you don't want to have to take everything out to get at your items in that part of the pack. That uh, comes in really handy for that, so you can get access to some of the items deep within your pack. Looking across to the other side, the compression strap on this side, um, it's got a small metal hook, which there is a, a loop of fabric hidden away in the bottom of this pocket here, and that is used for attaching trekking poles. I'll demonstrate that shortly. But again, we've got these lovely um, bellows pockets in the side, which just can be stretched open and made wider, just using the uh, buckle closures there. So that's really good. If we turn the pack over to the rear, we've got, we've got some nicely padded shoulder straps and we've got a sternum strap with a whistle and you can see this mesh type material all the way down the length of the pack on the back just to make sure it's nice and airy and it's going to alleviate some of those heating problems if you're trekking in the summer, you know, you don't want a sweaty back and this material is nice and it keeps it nice and airy. We've got a nice waist belt here and you can see that there is some material on the waist belt and that is actually looped so we can put carabiners on there we can hook on items of gear items of equipment 
and that is on both sides and then we've got the usual buckle closure just to adjust your waist belt and that is it really it is a really nice pack this particular colour is in stone grey like I say it's in the G1000 material it comes slightly waxed from Fjallraven but you can also adapt the rucksack with the use of their green lamb wax really easy to use just rub the bar of wax on the item and then I just use a hair dryer just to uh, you know give it a bit more water resistance don't forget the waxing doesn't make it totally waterproof if you want to protect your contents from rain in any prolonged or heavy rain just use the included rain cover which you get with the pack but I like this I like the look of it it's a really good looking pack like I say it is suitable for very lightweight overnight wild camps I'm not the best at packing light but you know I have done it on occasions and I've left you those cards just in case you're interested in seeing the pack in use but yeah that's enough with me rambling on about it we'll look at the pack in a lot more detail if you found this video useful I always ask that please just give it a quick thumbs up it does help me out on YouTube and that would be very much appreciated let's have a look at the pack in a bit more detail and I will see you soon on another video where we're going to look at another rucksack take care everyone